Hey my friends, how's it going? It's Ultimus, and with more 2v2 arenas coming at you, this time against a marksmanship hunter, Frost Death Knight. The amount of pressure that can come from a Frost Death Knight can be a little bit scary. Um, and then of course if the hunter is well geared, that can amount to some very easy kills to pick off, so I'm wanting to be mindful of that. I'm not just trying to charge in there going gung-ho, I'm going to wait and see what the other two are going to do first. Trying to let them come to us. Uh, my Death Knight friend, however, is not so timid, so he's just going straight in. He managed to pull the Hunter out of stealth camouflage there with his Death and Decay. As always, the fear for the opener. Got now the coolies going after that stun is just trying to put as much pressure on both of them as possible. Hunter decided to detour and then also feign death, which puts him in a good place for a nice, good execute. Though he drops pretty low, he's going to get away. I'm not going to bother chasing him. I'm applying the same rule I do for rogues, and I'm not going to chase unless I know I can kill. And since, of course, my death knight over here is getting a lot of damage put into him, I wanted to switch back over here and help him out. Unfortunately, it was not enough, because as you can see, the hunter is able to pick him off from pretty far away. Luckily, the hunter's uh, you know 43k health compared to my 360 puts me in a pretty decent position to land the kill. Though I'm not trying to get cocky, that's for sure. That's the quickest way for me to uh, lose games. Up against a balanced druid protection warrior this time. Went into this one actually expecting to lose. I mean, not that I'm going to throw a game and just stop trying, but just because of the boomy and how tanky warriors are, uh, I was expecting to lose. But the warrior, already by his choice of play style, I was already feeling fairly confident. Between blowing the heroic leap to the charge right there on his opener and then seeing Ravager drop, I was like, alright, we got this. So there's the fear for the opener as always, but the cooldown's coming out with the blade storm trying to capitalize on the cleave damage. And that Boomy isn't even able to stand up against it. Um, normally Boomies actually really, really scare me in twos because of how much control and just flat out damage they can do very, very quickly. Um, but this one, I'm not going to say he's bad because I don't really know what really makes a good Boomy good compared to a bad Boomy. I just know they hurt. But in this particular case, we had it in a good position there. And with the different exchanges of cooldowns, we ended up coming out there on top. This time, up against an Enhancement Shaman Discipline Priest, our plan here is definitely to sit the Priest. Uh, I don't really want to waste time messing around with the Shaman, I just want to put as much pressure on the Priest as well. So there's the Fear for the Opener, keeping Hamstring going on the Priest as well. I wanted to just pump damage, got them both caught there in the Remorseless Winter. There's the Blade Storm to kind of help pull the Priest out, which is nice. And between the Executes and the damage from the Death Knight there, not much they can do about it. I love being able to use Blade Storm not only as an offensive cooldown, but a defensive cooldown as well. And in that particular case, um, I feel like it functioned as both because the, therefore the Shaman wasn't able to crowd control me or slow me down. And it was able to also offensively pull that Priest out of stealth as he was trying to slip away which makes things a little bit easier to manage. I, I like the utility that's attached to Blade Storm. I think that's why warriors like it so much. Aside from the way it shreds rogues, let's be real. Speaking of rogues, we have a rogue, combat rogue specifically, and an elemental shaman. So this should be a very, very interesting match. Uh, I never know what to expect with elemental shamans, simply because I've been wrecked by them before and I've also wrecked them. So I always feel a little hesitant. Um, Trading cooldowns are on this one, throwing in the storm bolt there to pop cooldowns to fly right back in and just hammer the shaman. Took the opportunity to cancel my blade storm to go for that interrupt, which ended up paying dividends because of the damage boost, plus the cooldowns, the execute wasn't really able to stand up to it, which makes this a pretty open and shut, straightforward match, which I like a lot. Uh, the rogue's still going for it though, which I can commend him because if the rogue could still technically be this. Uh, it's tricky against a warrior and a death knight, but he technically could. Uh, being dumb and standing in, in that uh, smoke bomb there, but either way, the match was ours. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.